Here we are, here we are again, folks, with power reducing formulas. Because sometimes we want to be able to express our identities in something um, at the first degree instead of the second, third, or fourth degree. All right, so let's take a look at this. The double angle formulas, they're used to derive the power reducing formulas. And the power reducing formulas are sine squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. Cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. And tangent squared theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus, plus cosine 2 theta, which I can uh, imagine that you can see because tangent is sine over cosine. Okay, so that's the first group you need to commit to memory. All right. Reducing the power of a trig function. We want to write, let's, let's, let's tag this back to something that you know about in algebra. If I want, want to write the equivalent of a squared minus b squared that does not contain a power greater than 1, then what I do is I know that that's equal to a plus b times a minus b. That's what we're going to be working with here. So let's try, write the equivalent for cosine to the fourth x that does not contain powers of a trig function greater than 1. So we want to get rid of that cosine to the fourth. All right, so I'm going to go to the next page. Cosine to the fourth x is the same as cosine squared x squared. Cosine squared x squared. So I'm going to say, well, I know that um, cosine squared x is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2, and then I'm going to square that. Now, remember what we've talked about in the last few days about binomial expansion, so the numerator will become 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x, and the denominator will be 4. Okay? I'm going to break these apart. I'm going to make it 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x, because I have 2 over 4 is 1 over 2, plus 1 fourth cosine squared 2x. Now, I'm okay everywhere except for that cosine squared 2x, so I want to break that down, and I'm going to make that into cosine squared 2x is the same as, if I look at my uh, identity as cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine 2 theta, we have 2 theta on the right-hand side, and we have theta on the left-hand side, so we can think of this as theta is equal to 2x. And then I can go back here and I can say this is 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 fourth. And now I'm going to change my cosine squared 2x, remember theta now is equal to 2x, to 1 plus cosine 2 times 2x. I'm splitting up that um, uh, theta into 2x right here. And this is 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x, plus 1 eighth, I'm just using my what I know about uh, moving the, the 2 to the outside, 1 plus cosine 4x. So it's 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x, plus 1 eighth, I'm going to distribute my 1 eighth, 1 eighth times 1 is 1 eighth, and 1 eighth times cosine 4x is 1 eighth cosine 4x. Moving it on up here, I'm going to run in a different color so it's easier to see. 1 fourth plus 1 eighth is 3 eighths plus 1 half cosine 2x plus 1, half, 1 eighth cosine 4x. Whew, boy, that's a, that is a mouthful, a brainful, whatever. If your brain's not bleeding by now, it will be later. But go back and work out the arithmetic and the algebra with that. And then go do your checkpoint number four. And that's it, folks.